Hey there! In this short video, I'll show you how to personalize your thank you pages after submitting a form or any page for that matter. So, let's say we have here a form which would be um, submitted and we can personalize, with, for example, with the name of the person that submitted it on the next thank you page. So, you can go to the settings of the form and you can select go to page and from there you can select to which page you want people to go after submitting the form. So let's say, uh, well, we haven't created a thank you page, so let's do that first. Um, so let's just go and create a new page. So here we have thank you pages, we can select one of those, call it thank you for example, and add it. Now we have created this page. For And now let's say that we want to add thank you for submitting and let's say the name. So how do we add a name here? So when somebody submitted uh, on the previous step, how to show here the actual name of the person who submitted the form? Well, very easy. We can go into the website settings and there we have the personalization tags. Now from here you have different tags that you can see, but we'll be using in this case the param option. So we can use the param name. So basically if our you know, field is name, we can just add param name. That's our uh, field in the form and we'll get this information from the URL. So even if it's not submitted a form, if you let's say send an email uh, to the user and in the URL you have the name of the person uh, populated, so that information will also be part of this whole thing there. So let's just click on save changes and see how it actually works. Let's go into the contact us and uh, go into the settings of the form. So again, like I said, we have to select the thank you page to which we'll be going after submitting the form. So here is the thank you page and make sure that you have this checkbox enabled. Pass the submitted values in the URL. So basically the URL of the next page will contain the value of the name and that will be taken in the page itself. So that's basically it. So we can click on save changes and now test it out. So uh, let's put our names then and uh, you can add some information here, um, some phone number, some information about here, information, it's not important. The important part is the name because that's the information that will be showing on the thank you page. So now when we submit the form we will see thank you for submitting Stan. So this way you can take any information from the form. So you can use the name, the email, the phone, the project uh, type or the notes in this particular uh, form. So these are the fields here that you add. So if you want to add another field, uh, just no problem, just add it here and whatever information you have here, um, you can use that as a param dot something onto the thank you page. So this is how simple it is to customize and personalize your pages after submitting a form. Again, the important part is the URL will contain this, um, this value and you can send any information via the URL and showcase it onto the page by using the param and the uh, you know, va variable of this, of this value. This is it. I hope that you enjoyed and talk to you in the next video.